Question 10. Write the two missing digits to make this long multiplication correct. Now normally you're used to finding the very final answer at the end of the long multiplication, which in this case would be 1066. But that, that final answer has actually been given to you. You've got to work in reverse to figure out what digits were in the question. So we just need to think logically and think clearly and understand where the different parts of the calculation are coming from. So the first thing you would do is you, you would time this number by whatever's in this box and you would get whatever's here. Now this is a 6, but don't forget whatever goes in here has just got to end in a 6 for you to put the 6 in. So what numbers could we times by 6 to give an answer that ends in a 6? Well you could do 1 times 6 which would end in a 6. And you could also do 6 times 6, which would end in 6, because that would be 36, and that would still give you a 6 there. So let's see if either of those two work. Well, if you put a, three, if you put a 6 in there, because you think it's 6 times 6, you would get 6 times 6, which is 36. So you would put the 6 in, and you would carry the 3. Don't feel shy about writing numbers on the calculation. You can always rub them out anyway. So 6 6 is a 36, put the 6 in, carry the 3, and then you do 6 4s, which are 24, but you then add on the 3, which would be 27. Now that doesn't work, because it's not 27, it needs to be 24. So this can't be a 3 here, which means it can't be a 6 here, to do 6 60s, which means that can't be a 6. So if that option is out of the question, the only other option left is it must be 1 times 6. So let's try that. So we put a 1 in there. 6 times 1 gives you 6, and 6 times 4 gives you 24. So that 1 definitely works. Now remember, when you're doing long multiplication, whatever you're trying to times by here is in the tens column. So you put a magic 0 on the end, which is why the 0 is there, and then you would do this number times by the 1. So this number times by the 1 needs to give us this 2 here. So what number times by 1 is going to give you 2? Well, it's going to be 2, isn't it? Because 2 times 1 is 2. So this digit here that's missing needs to be a 2. So let's just try that. So 2 times 1 would give you 2, and 2 times 4 would give you the 8. So it does seem to work that it is a 2. So it looks like we've answered the question. Let's just go through it one more time to check everything works. So what we're saying is that that's a 1 in the corner and that's a 2. So we go 6 times 1, which is 6, that works. 6 times 4 is 24, that works. Because we're timesing by 20, we put the magic 0 in and then we just times each digit on the top by the 2 because that has the same effect as times by 20. So 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 4 is 8. So we've definitely got 820 there. And just to double check, since 6 had nothing is 6, 4 add 2 is 6, 2 add 8 is 10. So everything checks out, so the two missing digits are the 1 up the top there and the 2 there. And that's the end of that question.